friends, it's me, your favorite YouTuber who's had food poisoning twice in the past week. Back at it for another video. Can you help Rocco get home? There's only one way the maze can go, and it's a dead end. No, he can't get home. Sorry, Rocco, you on your own. You gonna be a lone car the rest of your life. We got this bathroom. Two urinals right next to each other. Literally, who thought this was a good idea? I know a girl didn't do this. A guy put these two together. And then even put like a glass panel. So the person next to you can't see you. But the person right next to you, who you're literally bumping elbows with, can see and smell and hear everything. What's the point of this? Maybe you can like practice for the Olympics. Like, psst, psst, psst. psst. No, I don't know what you guys are up to in the bathroom. <gasps> oh no! So this slide doesn't have the bottom half. Where did it go? Did it ever have a part where you actually slide? This ain't a slide. This a fall. I wonder if that poor little girl's mom planned this. Baby, you see that slide? Why don't you go through that one? And then she'll go up and then go slide down and then mom records her just falling on her face. Life lessons right there. Don't trust anybody. Before I even say anything, look at this. Smash like if you think that looks like soda. Or some kind of fancy drink, right? It's a floor cleaner! Literally a floor cleaner. How you gonna put them in the grocery store like that? So your kid grabs one on the way out like, Mommy, I want this. It looks pretty. It looks like a lemonade and orange juice in the same bottle. But little do they know, it's floor cleaner. How y'all gonna confuse the people of the world like this? Oh, Cinderella, how could they do you like this? That puzzle piece in a little too good. <laughs> At least if she ever loses her shoe again, she could just sniff for it. <laughs> Which one of you took my shoe? Oh yes, found it. Okay, Snifferella. We got the sign for a restaurant that says, Eat Jessica's Family. Whoa, nah, I think I'll pass. I don't even think they taste good. So the restaurant's called Jessica's Family Restaurant. And then they have a big eat sign. Is this an invitation or a challenge? This kindergarten classroom has a toilet in the middle of the classroom. Is this even legal? There's no door. If you wanna go do your business, the teacher and all the other students can keep an eye on you. I mean, there's three walls, but what about the fourth wall, the one that you need? What if you were like, I had to go to the bathroom and they don't want kids leaving the class and they're like, okay, you know what? Use the one in the back. Pikachu meme face. I mean, I know kindergartners are like small, but what if you just had Taco Bell? Is the whole class gonna have the misfortune of smelling it? I can't learn my days of the week like this. Here we got a solar powered parking meter in an underground garage. <laughs> okay, that's just straight up stupid. Well, I mean, if you figured that out, then you don't have to pay for parking. Because if it's solar powered and it's underground, it's probably dead. Man, whoever put this here, straight up fool. N-D-E-E-I-S Wait, what? Neighborhood Design Center. Oh my god, these fools. In yellow text, it says neighborhood. And in white text, it says design center. Okay, well, they're creative, I can tell you that, but not in a good way. I would never pay for a design service from somebody who makes a sign like this. You can't even read the sign. They tried to be edgy and failed miserably. Oh, there's gotta be no better way to write your phone number than scroll down digit by digit. Whatever this is, I ain't signing up for it. If I gotta put every single digit, why can't you make me spell it out? They really wanna make sure to get you on their phone mailing list. Here, we have the big kahuna, Cerberus of slides. There's not one, not two, but three ways you can go. See, in theory, this sounds like a good idea, but you have to keep your body like all straight and whatever you do, no matter what, do not separate your legs, especially if you're a guy. Oh no, 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 no. There is like a 90% chance that you might take a big fat oof on that slide. Yeah, no, I think I'll pass. Ew, what is this clock? Throw it away. Instead of having 12, 3, 6, 9, it has 1, 3, 4, 5. Wait, it's 3 o'clock. What's in between 3 and 4 o'clock? And then 4 and 5 o'clock. And then there's 4 hours between 5 and 9. And stone it up. Okay, throw the whole thing away. I don't like this. Don't make sense. <laughs> Somebody drew a handicap sign. That's obviously never seen a handicap sign. Like, dang, that's the dummiest, thickest handicap man I have ever seen. Poor grandpa just wanted to throw his paper towels in the trash. But they put the dryer right on top of the trash can. So that when you throw the paper towels in, the drying sensor is tingled. And then it blows the paper towels everywhere. Why would you do that? Such a bad place to put them. 
Okay, this is the ugliest elevator I've ever, ever, ever seen. What's the point of this? <sighs> this is giving me a panic attack I'm just looking at this. Okay, I wanna know why some floors have a button and a sticker, and some floors just have a button. Maybe somebody thought it was ugly and started stealing all the stickers that say what floor you're going to. It's like they're not necessary. The freaking button says the number of the floor. Why do you have to do it twice? You're trying to make me mad. I will never come to your hotel. One star on Yelp. There is this tool called Stop Struggling with those stubborn plastic packages. Oh, finally, I won't have to suffer with these anymore if I just buy this. And then you realize that it comes in one of those stubborn plastic packaging. Why? Why would you do this? You are literally going against everything you believe in. This is like the final boss. After you buy this device and you manage to get it out, you will never have to struggle with one of these ever again. But only if you can open this one. Whoever made this pillow has not looked at a compass in a hot minute. I don't know left and right, but even I know what a compass is supposed to look like. Didn't you learn never eat shredded wheat? In what universe is north up here and south down here? Like, I get it if you get east and west mixed up, but like north here and south here? What? This is what happens when you drop out of school to make pillows. Let's put a fence here to block the staircase so that no one can enter and no one can leave without a key. Unless you just take two steps around. What's the point? Why even put a fence there? You could just walk right around it. Unless you're playing the floor is lava and the grass is actually lava. This ain't gonna work. Kids, adults, real anti-abduction. Everyone. What does that spell? What? They couldn't think of what the T stood for, so they just put a kicking man. He ain't even doing a T pose. You could have put like training or something. This is a horrible ad. Makes me never want to learn karate. The poo professor. The poop professor. Your swimming pool software? Hold on. Swimming pool? No matter how I look at it, there's a guy squatting. And it's called the poo professor. But that's supposed to be an L. It's supposed to be the pool professor. Okay, you can't call yourself a professor when you can't even separate the L from the P. They try to save space and make it the pool professor, but ended up being the poo professor. Okay, what the heck is a swimming pool software? Let me install some software so that my PC can learn how to swim. And then throw it into the pool. Why is my PC not swimming? We want to make our bathroom fancy. So we're gonna put mirrors on the ceiling. That's fancy, right? Mirrors on the ceiling? Literally on top of the toilet so everybody who is standing outside of the toilet waiting can see what you're really doing in there when you take a long time. I ain't using this bathroom. Nope. I can hold it till we get home. Or y'all ever lock the main door of a bathroom? <laughs> I think I did it once when I was a kid. I was like, I want this bathroom all to myself. And it was like a multi stall bathroom, but I locked the main door. It was at school. Nobody came in, but I, I just felt so powerful in that moment. Over here, we have the stairs and the wheelchair escape route. Whoa! So if you want a wheelchair to get down these stairs, you gotta do a 360 kickflip or something to successfully land. This has gotta be the staircase down like the Olympics office or something. Cause this can only end one way. Badly. So this is at the airport. Nobody, absolutely nobody is allowed in. You know what? We're gonna put a door and then a mini door. Just to make sure nobody can go back in. But when the freaking door opens, the mini door opens. Cause it's like, oh, the door is opening. Even though there's nobody there. Then the mini door opens. Y'all put the doors too close to each other. You know those cutouts where you could put your face through them? They had one of a panda. But can you even tell us a panda? Okay, this was just not a good idea. A panda got the eyes up here, the nose down here, but no. We just gonna make a cutout right here. Congratulations, you're a panda snout. How that bamboo smell just did not work, okay? There's this boat that says no safety, smoking first. It's supposed to say no smoking, safety first, but like why y'all have to put it on either side and then separate it with a big logo in the middle? Now it'll look like it's saying no safety. Go take a picture right under that. No safety on this boat allowed. Ew, this is actually gross. One side is a plunger and one side is a cleaner. You know, Walmart probably thought this was a good idea until you think about like both of the sides are gonna get like dunked into the toilet. And then you just have a very small surface area that won't be dirty. Now who am I kidding? This whole thing is dirty. It's like a one-time use thing, then throw it away after. You know that's what Evan does? Every time he's used a plunger, he throws it away after. He's like, I ain't cleaning this. 
In this hotel, they have this carpet, this very unusual plaid looking carpet. And then when you look directly down at it, it looks flat. These are trippy, it's like I know they're stairs, but if you look at it like just the fabric and look down, it's like these don't look like stairs. How many people have tripped on these stairs? I need numbers, Marriott. I like how they have that little section at the bottom of the stairs before you do the second floor. So it's like if you slip and fall, you have a nice little wall and a little moment where you can collect yourself and mentally prepare to fall down another set of stairs. So these doors are the push doors. There's no handle, you can't pull. But it says pull. This is a Jedi entrance or something. I gotta use the force to like suck it open. What? How you gonna open this? Maybe there's only exiting, no entering. Once you're in there, you're stuck. This is the true mind test. How do you open this? Comment below. Animal Anus. Animal Anus. Animal Anus. Whoa! No! That's not what it's supposed to say! I ain't gonna say anything. Smash like if you get it. Here we have a trash can. And here we have donations. Don't get it twisted. Why make them literally the exact same container and put them right next to each other? Does somebody just look at this and be like, oh, what a perfect place to put a donation box next to the trash. What, so when people are done with their big gulp, they'll donate it? This is dumb. Even the opening, it's like, what can you even fit in there? A uh, big gulp. So this dude went to a game and paid $25 for this seat. Oh my god, that's horrible! Why even put a seat there? Why put a pole there? Somebody's supposed to sit there! Not even a child can fit there! This is literally the kind of chair that you put a purse on. My dog can't even fit there. Yeah, I'm gonna need a refund. Don't you just love when you're looking for an outlet and then you find this literally behind a glass wall How are you even supposed to reach that? There was three other sides of the pillar that they could have put an outlet on They're like no, nope, we're just gonna put it on the back side. Good luck This is like trying to find an outlet in an airport. It's like everybody needs them, but ain't nobody got them Oh my god, this is agonizing looking at this. Like you just trying to take a bath and all the water hits the bathtub before it goes into the bath. <sighs> Who did this? And like the worst part, they just did it and they were like, oh, it sucks to suck. Like didn't even bother changing it. These people need to be fired. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click, and subscribe to the Wolf Pack. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.